Monitor Heritage is a gateway into the content that's in the archives. It allows the community to directly input and grow our collections. I'm hoping it's going to be a point where the community can kind of rally around local heritage as well, really give them something to connect to. I do really like the simplicity of it. We've got all kinds of sort of complex multimedia items that we couldn't share before and Manitou Heritage lets us share them in a really beautiful way. The feature that I like the most, oh it's hard to pick just one, I like how it has the flexibility to allow us to restrict access to content as well as make it totally open. You know, the zoom into the content is absolutely marvellous. I know this photograph collection really well, but all of a sudden, there's something in this photograph that I have never seen over all those years. The zoom function is my favourite as well. <laughs> I know, it's really, I really cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've got all that beautiful image zooming, but you really need really great design in order to make it fit and still work on a small screen, and I think that's something Manitou Heritage really excels at. I reckon it helps us to improve our service to the community, to encourage people to give us their history that, so that we can mm -hmm. uh, make it available for everybody. I like how from the old platform it was you could do it on a computer or you could do it in the library, but with Manitou Heritage you could be out in the community and use it on your smartphone so it expands where you can use our services. Now all the content that is out of copyright that we can offer directly to the community, it's just with one click that's on their computer, it's available for them to use. We launched with an MVP and then we're building. So this is our first year of development after launch. So the minimal viable product is getting a product out into the community. Then you can look at how it's being used, what's working, what's not, what else is needed, and then work at enhancing that. Well, it's trying to do the things that you need it to do really, really well, instead of trying to do everything that you possibly could want it to do. At the heart of the system is this API, and you've got all this wonderful content that, that's stored, it's stored in the cloud, and then the API draws on that content, pulls it through, and then it can send it out in multiple directions. So we can have the, all the contents just sitting on Manawatu Heritage. Ultimately, we can be using it on trails around the city, and, and it's also accessible via the API. Well, I'm really proud of Manitou Heritage. I think we've done a great job. It allows us to share all this hidden content that previously nobody had seen except for researchers, and now it's just out there for everybody. And I think that's super cool.